Hello and welcome to this podcast brought to you by the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. My name is Sandy and I'm the Executive Officer of the Association and a cancer survivor. And my name is Malcolm, Chairman of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association and a former surgeon. In this podcast we want to talk about testicular cancer. Testicular cancer is a cancer specific to men and occurs when cancer arises in one of the two testicles. The testicles are often more commonly referred to as the balls or the nuts and many other names probably not mentionable on the radio. Blokes listening may start to feel uncomfortable at this point but it is important for us to talk about testicular cancer as it is, a, it is potentially curable if diagnosed in its early stages. Although testicular cancer is rare in comparison to other cancer types, it is still the most common cancer in men aged between 15 and 45. On the island, there are roughly two men diagnosed each year with this type of cancer. Men in the 15 to 45 age group often think they are invincible and have a laissez-faire attitude to many things, including any potential health issues. However, testicular cancer caught early has a 98% chance of a cure, so it's very important to be aware of the signs and symptoms. So what are the signs and symptoms of testicular cancer? What should men and all blokes look for? The most common symptom of a testicular cancer is a lump or swelling in one of the testicles. The lump can be as small as a pea and will usually be in one testicle only. The majority of cancerous lumps in the testicle are painless. Another symptom is the scrotum or ball sac may feel heavy or you may get a dragging sensation or a dull ache within the scrotum. If you notice any change in your testicles, maybe that one appears or feels different to the other, Please go and talk to your doctor about this. Now, there are some risk factors associated with development of testicular cancer. The commonest risk factor is having an undescender testicle. Not many people know that the testicles develop within the abdomen and normally move down or descend into the scrotum just prior to or after birth. If this doesn't happen, a simple operation can be performed to correct it. Research indicates, however, that if this is not performed in the first decade of life, the risk of testicular cancer increases. Around 10% of men diagnosed with testicular cancer will have had a history of an undescended testicle. Other factors that can increase your risk include a family history with your father or a brother having had testicular cancer, height may also be a factor, tall men having a greater risk than shorter men, and sitting for long periods can increase your risk. It's important to check your testicles regularly. Get to know your balls, either by self-examination or get your partner to do it. It is best done after a warm bath or shower when the skin overlying the testicles is supple. It doesn't take long to do, just a couple of minutes once or twice a month. Know what feels normal for you. Roll each testicle gently between your forefinger and thumb. There's no need to squeeze. Feel for any lumps or bumps, assess their size and texture or firmness. There are many, many simple causes for lumps in the scrotum and finding a lump does not mean you definitely have cancer, but get it checked out. You may be a little embarrassed about talking to your doctor about this part of your body, but it's important. Don't just ignore it. Now, there are a number of lifestyle changes that can reduce your risk of developing testicular cancer. Take regular exercise. Research also tells us that testicles function best at a certain temperature. The testicles are contained in the scrotal sac hanging below the body because they function better at below body temperature. If they get too warm, it can reduce your fertility as well as increase your risk of cancer. Lazing around on your balls all day, such as when playing on your games console or computer for any long periods of time, will do them no favours. It's important to get up move around and do something active. A quick recap of the signs and symptoms of testicular cancer. A lump or swelling, often painless, in part of one of the testicles. If you're worried about something you have found, compare it to the other, si other side. If it's different, then arrange to see your doctor. Another symptom is that the scrotum may feel heavy or you may get a dragging sensation or a dull ache in it. If you want more information about testicular cancer, there is a very good website set up by ORCID, 
with specific information for men about testicular cancer, which is yourprivates.org.uk. Also, if you do have concerns, they have developed a handy checklist which can be printed out and filled in prior to speaking to your GP. It's important to tell your GP everything that's concerning you so you can decide what to do next. So go to orchid-cancer.org.uk slash news slash orchid male cancer checklist. And of course, on the island, you can contact the Macmillan Cancer Information Centre and you can phone them on 650735 or have a look at their website, which is macmillan.org.uk. Thank you for listening.